All right, our team coverage continues now. Alicia Niaves, she is standing by out and about in the community this evening with more. Alicia, exactly where are you tonight and what's going on out there? Hey, JR, I'm outside Springdale Elementary School. This is where Faye Swetlick was a first grader. And earlier today when our team got out here, we wanted to check it out, see what we could see here. We happened to catch a father who left flowers in front of the sign. I'm going to step out of the way so uh, Emily behind the camera can zoom in. A makeshift memorial has started right underneath the school sign. You can see there are balloons, maybe four or five bouquets of flowers. We are seeing people stop by. I probably got here about 4.30 and it's not just adults who are stopping by like that father. By the way, that father, he says his son is also a first grader here at Springdale Elementary School. His son is not in Faye's class, but he was asking questions, you know, about uh, his his fellow first grader who went missing. And so the father felt compelled to come earlier. But it's not just adults we're seeing out here. We're seeing families. I saw a couple of ladies stop by with, with two children. We saw one of our coworkers stop by with his family, his son, uh, around, around the same age as, as Faye. And it's not just flowers and balloons. We have toys over there. By the way, we're standing across the street, as you guys can tell, because we're not allowed on property, uh, understandably so. Uh, but it, it has just been remarkable to see how everyone here uh, has remembered or is remembering Faye. You have prayer vigils happening. You have this starting outside Springdale Elementary. You have the open prayer going on at Trinity Church from 5 to 7 tonight. So, JR, we, this is just a community support that we have been seeing all day. And it has been really nice, again, to see not just adults out here, but you have children around Faye Swetlick's age come out here, lay down the flowers themselves. So it's it's really been touching, a touching sight to see. Yeah, and as you're speaking to us, we see activity behind you by the sign of the school right now, Lacey. It looks like somebody else is pulling up right in the middle of your live shot, even as we talk about what's going on out there. Yes, so this is what we're seeing. Cars will, will park, oh gosh, I hate, uh, some cars that, you know, they'll, the people walking out are going inside the school. But for the folks who have stopped by to leave something, that's where they're parking. They'll do a quick run and leave a token of remembrance. I did notice also families who have stopped by, they have left something. Others may not have had anything and they would stop by underneath the sign to just have a moment of silence because this, this truly has impacted this community so very much. I had a friend in Indiana called to ask me about this. People all over the nation have, have their eye on this case and this has been a heartbreaking piece of news that we learned today. And this first father who we met that I mentioned who I mentioned earlier, that happened a couple of hours after the news came out. So people upon hearing the news feel the need to immediately do something. So that has been, uh, again, truly a sight to see. One of the things that we know is that the principal at Springdale Elementary has sent letters home with the parents. She even left a voicemail um, talking to parents about the best way to talk to their students about phase loss. Have you heard anything about that as well, Alicia? I did hear it mentioned earlier about a voicemail left. I did not get a chance to read it, but you can only you can only uh, imagine just like that, that the, the father's little boy earlier asking questions about this. You have to also keep in mind how this affects children, right? How to talk to your children about this. Adults, we know this is heartbreaking news, but maybe children may not yet understand, fully understand the scope of what has happened. They're not at the age yet. If they're in phase class, if they're phase age, that's in first grade. You're just kind of starting to learn your feelings at that age. So I will tell you though, the children who I have seen stop by, they're all around her age. I, we didn't get a chance to talk to them again. We can't cross the street, but it just makes you, it makes you really think about how this has impacted these children, how they will get through this and how counselors here, how, the, how their teachers are going to help them get through it. Emily's pointing at someone else who's stopping by. Let me get out of the way so we can zoom in here. It appears another bouquet of flowers is being left underneath this sign. I think I'm counting five or six bouquets now. 
Again, I got here at four, so about two hours later. It just continues to grow, JR and Darcy, and that's really been nice to see. I'm not sure if everyone knows Faye or her family, but even if they don't, it's, it's touching. They took a couple of minutes out of their day to do this. It's not just flowers and balloons. We're seeing toys out here. So I'll keep you updated on everything we see out here, again, in front of Springdale Elementary School. I'll All send right. it back to you. Alicia, thank you so much. Such a touching thing to see there. And, and, you know, we did hear from Springdale Elementary. They are going to bring in extra counselors tomorrow to speak to all of the children there and answer any of the children's questions. And we also talked with our expert, our professor of psychology and our licensed uh, psychotherapist that said that, that's, that the message was right on, that you should let your children ask questions and that you have to be honest and you understand that tomorrow and the next day is going to be very hard with them. But try your best to answer the questions questions and don't add. That was one thing that I took from her, Dars. She said, don't add to the conversation. Don't answer questions they're not asking. All right. A quick break. We'll be back with more in a moment.